Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. The more winners, the merrier. And that was the case for the NSAA State Wrestling Championships. Sports Director Darren Winberg recaps from the CHI Health Center in Omaha. Good evening, Nebraska's championship Saturday here at the CHI Health Center for state wrestling. What better way to spend your Saturday than here on the mats? We have defending state champions. We have potential two-time state champions. So let's get to it. And check out that entrance, electric. Who can't be fired up for state wrestling? Let's wrestle. 106 pounds, Jack Sponenberg, 37 and one, and a fifth place finish a season ago. Well, my guys winning it all this year as he continued that as a junior wins it by pinfall at the 241 mark. Celebrate your state champion. This whole day, I've just been waiting to wake up. I feel like it's just been a dream. I, I can't believe it. Staying at 106, we go to Class D where Burwell's Brody Jensen, 44 and two, Looks like a veteran out there, but wait, my guy's only a freshman as he's doing big things as he gets two points on the takedown and it's Jensen winning by decision eight to four. Celebrate, young buck. It's been great. It's I've been here a lot forever and I've been able to come down here, but it's just different when you're winning it. And on to 113 pound match, Class D, where two-time defending state champion and undefeated Sebastian Sauceda of Shelton. Turns out he was matching up on a torn ACL but playing with one leg isn't going to slow him down as he pins it to win it at the 442 mark. As Sebastian, you're a two-time state champion. It feels awesome. Uh, at first, it sounded kind of, you know, like if I if I lose, I will, you know, it's a match I didn't know if I was going to come out with a win. You know, you never know. And now that I come out of that match when I dominated, I feel so good. On to Class C boys, 132 pound matches. Dakota Gibson of Donovan Trumbull squaring off against Carson Wood of Boone Central. And Gibbon strikes first with two points on the takedown. But this one went down to the bitter end, tied at five, and Gibson wins it with two point takedown. And is your Class C boys state champion and finishes the year 39 and six record and putting the Cardinals on the map. Yeah, I felt that, that I did that, and I felt like it starts our program off really well to have a state champion this early. Let's go to 138-pound Class D boys. State runner-up from a season ago, Coy Cole of Sutherland, putting his 48-1 record on the line against state runner-up from a year ago, 120-pound Gatlin Krepla. And it's Krepla down 4 nothing until he cuts it in half with the reversal, but it's Sutherland's with the win by decision eight to three, and is your 138 pound Class D champion. It's been fun. Uh, we've had a pretty good season, and that just makes it even better. Now up, 144 Class C, where undefeated Tristan Burbach is looking to go back to back and close out his senior year undefeated. Trailing, heading into the third, he turned it on to force overtime, and he gets the two point takedown. He's going back to back state champions. Three time finalist, four time medalist, two time state champion, and I was undefeated these last two seasons. You know, it's, my whole goal is, these last four years has just been one of the best to ever come to Central City. And I think, uh, I think that match right there really cemented my legacy. 150 pound staying in Class C as Oren Keen squaring off against Brendan Bowling of Pierce. And it's Keen of Minden winning it by decision eight to three. And the junior improves to 47 and two. He's also a state champion. Feels so good. I mean, everything I've worked for finally paid off. Feels so good. It took just working on little things in practice, perfecting what I do, and just doing what I do, and I got the job done. Class B, 157 pound, Brock Malcolm of Codesad wins it by pinfall at the 141 mark and improves to 37 and seven. Let's switch gears and go to the girls, 140 pound matchup. Caden Sip of Adam Central, 35 and two, going up against Dylan Ritchie, a state champion. And despite trailing throughout, it's Sip coming away with her first state title as a sophomore. Continuing on with girls actions, Naya Roberts of Grand Island coming away in the contest, sporting a record of 44 and two, going up against 27 and two, Kristen Schnellenberg. We move to the third period, and it's Roberts getting two points on the reversal, and she wins it by the same score she's representing. GI. 
You know, we have three schools, um, three high schools in Grand Island that have girls wrestling, Northwest, obviously Gish, and the GICC. And, I mean, I feel like I'm not only representing the Islanders, obviously, but I feel like I'm representing the whole team of Grand Island. And, you know, what it means to be an Islander, I'm just I'm just thrilled. We put so much work into offseason and to everything coming into this tournament, and it paid off. Back to Class D boys, 165 pounds, and Selma Myrna's Tice Porter versus Axtell's Taryn Levicki. Both have a combined three losses, and it's Levicki going out as a senior winner by decision, nine to four. It just took a lot of hard work to get here. I'm thankful for all the help from all the coaches I've had. I was ready for it from all the, the hard practice I've had with people. It helped, everyone was a big help on the way. Um, I expected them to have a good plan, and they definitely did. Uh, I, I wrestled them a couple weeks ago, and I, I, it definitely helped having the, the confidence with having wrestled them already. Um, I used to wrestle him a lot, even in eighth grade, and he beat me consistently then, but this is the only time it matters. Well, that'll do it for me from the CHI Health Center. As far as team scores go, Class C Broken Bow finishes second with 98 points, and girls Grand Island finished second with 110. For the latest results, head to our website, nebraska.tv. Reporting from the CHI Health Center and State Wrestling, Darren Winberg, NTV Sports.